not 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 45, and here we were given a 3x3 three three system. And so I need to simplify that down to a 2x2 two two system. Oops, let me scooch that back up. And then eventually a 1x1 one one system. But let me go ahead and simplify it down to a 2x2. Two two. And before I even get going, for me personally, I'm like, I'm only meh when it comes to decimals. But they kind of bug me when I'm trying to work these um, systems of equations. So if I look at all the decimals, they're all tenths, right? You can see 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 2.4, the whole way across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 10. And I'm going to distribute that 10 to literally every term in here. So all 12 terms, right? And I know that's going to get pretty junked up. I'll stop drawing my arrows. But when I do that, when I multiply everything in the first, second, and third equation by 10, I get a much nicer looking system. Like to me, at least for my brain, the way it works, that's easier for me to look at and comprehend what to do than doing it with decimals. All right, so then let's move forward on this. I'm going to start doing the coefficients. So if I look at the x's, I'll go red. So if I look at the x's, we've got 8, 3, and 1. That's a good um, start. At least I see a positive 1x. I wish that the signs were opposite. Like what I'm trying to say is I wish that this was negative 8 and negative 3, but you can't have everything you want. If I look at the y's, I've got positive 8, negative 5, and positive 2. None of those are as desirable as a positive 1x. Let's see what the z's have. They have 8, 2, and 3. So I, I'm going to go ahead, because there's the 1 here, I'm going to eliminate the x variable. So that's what I've got there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the first and third equation, and I'm going to need to multiply this by negative 8 to knock out that positive 8. And that's what you see me doing here. I've got the first equation, and then I'm multiplying the third equation by negative 8, and I'm going to distribute that negative 8 to all four terms in that equation. And I can just say from personal experience, I, I tend to forget to distribute it to the number on the right side of the equal sign. So just a, a reminder. All right, when we distribute it, the x's, you can see we've got the x terms canceling. That was by design. That's great. So if I look at what I have so far, I've got an equation that's only got the two variables in it, which is great. I've eliminated something, right? I started with a three by three system and now I'm down to two. I don't have the two by two yet because I need the other equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at our originals. I'm gonna, again, delete this just so it's not totally junked up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine the first and third equation. No, excuse me, second and third. That's what I meant to say. And since this has got a positive three here, I'm gonna multiply everything in this by a negative three. And that's what you see me doing at this step. And again, distribute, 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 distribute. And once we do that by design, the x's eliminate. And that's a good thing. And then look what I've got. I've got an equation with two variables in it. And if I look at my new set, my new 2 by 2, all right, let's, let's go ahead and analyze the coefficients before, so I can figure out what to eliminate. I've got a negative 8 and a negative 11. That's not really great. And then I've got a negative 16 and a negative 7. So nothing's good. Uh, there's no positive 1. None of these have opposite signs. So just dealer's choice. I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll eliminate the Z's. All right. So I'm going to eliminate the Z's. And since I don't see a GCF between them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this one. Ooh, that was fun. That turned into a triangle. What was that? I'm going to multiply this one by 7, and I'll do this one by negative 16 so that I can make their signs opposite. Now, you also could have done this one by negative 7 and this one by positive 16, just as long as you're getting those, those signs that are opposite. And actually, JK, that looks like what I did. So I think I now if I look at my work, I did do negative 7 here and positive 16. So I want to just stay consistent. So as I multiply that first equation by negative 7 and the second equation by positive 16, even though these numbers are gigantic, you can see that the z's do eliminate. And this is great. y is a nice whole number. So at that point, I can take y equaling 1 and either sub it into this equation or sub it into this equation. It's, it's up to you which one you want to do. Just looking at it, I don't really have a preference. and It looks like on my work, I went with the first equation. Okay, great. And this is awesome. Z winds up being a nice whole number as well. So I've got X, excuse me, I've got Y and Z. Once I have those two, you go back to the original equations and you can plug them into any of these three and solve for X. And since I already got rid of the decimal, I'd, I'd plug them into one of those three actually to solve for X. 
And so I opted for the 8x plus 8y plus 8z is equal to 24, and then x is 1. Oh, so this is the nice order triple 1, 1, 1. And what I would always say is check your answers at the end. And when I say check your answers, I would take 1, 1, 1, and I actually would go back to the original equations, all right? Not even the ones where I multiplied by 10. I would plug them into here and see if equality holds on all three equations. And I want to write all three equations and stress that because I've had it before where I've made like a little numerical error and equality might hold on the first two, but not the third one. And if equality fails on one of these equations, then that's a little clue to you like, hey, you did something wrong. There's a typo somewhere. And with all the work you're doing, it's easy to make a typo. But if equality does hold on all three, then you know you've got the answer right, which is great. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.